We're going to be climbing Pink Rib, which is just to my right here, uh, and that's a rhyolite dike. You can see it very clearly here, and you can see why it's called Pink Rib. You can see that the rhyolite is harder than the surrounding rocks, and we'll look at some of the features of the rhyolite when we get onto it. So we're just at the start of Pink Rib here, and you can see that it's a very fine-grained rhyolite, and it's fine-grained because it was it's very narrow, so it's cooled very quickly. But you can also see that it's got vertical banding. And that banding is parallel with the edges of the dike, and it's flow banding. So when you intrude, the rate of flow of magma at the sides is lower than at the center, so you get a relative shear, and you get banding aligning parallel to the shear. The pink rib, as I say, is rhyolite. It was very, very small intrusion really, it's maybe 10 meters wide or so. So it cooled very quickly and rather like glass, if you cool it too quickly or heat it up, change the temperature too quickly, it will crack. And so the really good in-cut holes that we see here are essentially the fractures, the cooling fractures, and they propagate from the edges inwards, so they end up at right angles to the dike. And here they've made really nice sets of in-cut in holes here. So it's beautiful, easy scrambling on this rhyolite. We're standing right on the edge of the rhyolite here. And so to my left, that's country rock. And you can see these repeated cycles of very quartz rich rock. And then the nice uh, foliated uh, schist. Okay, so this is, this is a sedimentary rock that's been metamorphosed to make quartzite and schist, repeated layers. And this is the contact with the rhyolite. You can see very clearly it's a sharp contact. The rhyolite, all of the features are parallel to the side of the contact. And then in the country rock, you have this foliation which is at an angle like this. It's a really nice example of a dike.